<sighs> I've never loved a hat so much in all my life. Twinkly fabric, gold stitching, what appears to be the feather of some exotic bird. <sighs> But I could never afford something so glamorous and glitzy. Tell you what, Fifi. How about I let you borrow the hat for a day? I know you'll take good care of it. You do that for me? Just promise that whenever someone asks where you got it, you'll tell them Lola's Boutique. <laughs> sure, whatever. Thanks, Lola. I feel like she didn't hear that last part. Hello, Fifi. Can I interest you in a croissant? Maybe a tart. Pile of melting chocolate. <gasps> that one's a mistake and should not be for sale. I apologize. No, thank you, Winston. Nothing for this fancy lady. Uh, uh, okay, maybe just one. They're all talking about your hat, Beefy. Literally nothing can ruin this moment. <gasps> Have you seen my hat? Very beautiful fedora with a large exotic cockatiel feather. Cockatiels aren't exotic. Uh, you're no help. Ooh, how much for that melted pile of chocolate? For you, my friend, half price. Winston, terrible news. I lost my hat. Oh, was this not my hat? <laughs> I honestly couldn't remember. <laughs> Cameron, it's not your hat. But it does really bring out the pink in your nose. Thank you. <sighs> I can't take the pressure. Wait, can I? No, I thought I could, but I can't. Guess I'm not a hat squish mallow after all. <sighs> I'm never gonna sell that hat. <laughs> Fine here. <sighs> Need help, Cameron? I could use some help cheering, Danny. Come on, guys! Yeah. You can do it! You're a pretty good sport, Cam. Well, I figured if I couldn't be good at sports, I'd be a good sport. <laughs> I like how you think, buddy. <laughs> Lollipop! <laughs> Squishmallows! Only 10 seconds left in the pie eating contest! Oh man! I'm not even good at pie eating contests! You got this, Lola! Come on, Winston! That's the boy, Danny! Woohoo! No luck today, Cameron! <laughs> Me? Uh. I guess I'm still looking for what I'm best at. What do you like to do? I like singing. Oh, <gasps> sing us a song! Oh, if you really want me to. <gasps> I'm the positive one. Yes, I'm the positive one. Sure, I'm not that good, but boy, I had some fun. Is there any question who the worst is? It's me! But when I'm on your cheering squad, or fill you up with I'll tell everyone I know that you're the best that you can be Because I'm the woo-hoo guy hip, 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 Wait, don't do that! <laughs> well, this is a fun birthday surprise. Cammie, have you been baking? Frosting, frosting, frosting. Cameron! <laughs> hey, Fifi, uh, you're home early. I know this looks bad, but I made you birthday cupcakes. Mm, I mean, I tried to, but then I ate a bunch of frosting and it made me really sleepy, and then I ran out of frosting, and now here we are. Cam, if you really want to give me a birthday surprise, you can clean up after yourself. You bet. And I will be right with you after a very quick cat nap. Ugh. 
Can you set the cycle to sleep? Ugh! Is that a no? <sighs> Fifi, what's wrong? I appreciate that you tried to bake me cupcakes, but I've spent half my birthday cleaning up after you. Well, I know. I so feel bad about that. And I think I, I should feel even worse, but I can't remember why. Jean, the clean machine is on the scene. Oh, that's why. I hired Jean to clean the house as your birthday present. No clean machine? I'm sorry, Fifi. That's okay, Cam. I know you were trying to make my birthday better. Luckily, I had a backup plan. A strawberry birthday cake. Just in case all this happened. My favorite! Woohoo! <laughs> Jean is back on the scene to clean. I'm so proud you overcame your fear of skateboards, Maui. Oh, thanks, Fifi. Now all I have to do is conquer my fear of singing, scuba diving, roller coasters, rollerblading, tall trees, and clouds that look like dogs. Not a good time, Cloud Dog. Hey, how about we stop into Winston's and celebrate? We're going to celebrate conquering my fear of skateboards? Absolutely. Why, any old time is a good time for celebrating. Isn't that right, Fifi? That's right, Winston. In fact, I bet you can find something to celebrate every day. Every day? Oh, Billy Goats, you know I have a fear of spontaneous singing. Get over it, kid. We're doing this. If I may throw my two cents in, state my case and do some convincing to spread joy without equivocation. We should find time for every day celebration. That's right, and I will add for the sake of posterity. Did you guys plan this? If I may speak with such temerity. Boldness, yes. When life is feeling tough and your day's been kind of rough, don't forget to celebrate the small stuff. What's happening now? It's Maui time. Oh, I'm terrified. Own it. Celebrate it. I didn't know that I'd have to do this. Confront my fear inside a bakery. You'll get there. As I sing, I think I'm getting stronger. In fact, I think I'll sing a little longer. When everything is great, Cheer, no need to wait. Make some time for everyday celebration. I did it. I conquered my fear of singing. And I'm going to celebrate right now with a fresh croissant. We are sold out. I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> Who's ready for a spooky story? Ah! Ah! Uh, um, Kayla, I thought we came to the park for a sleepover. You know, s'mores and snores. <laughs> Cameron knows what I'm talking about. Winston, I didn't know you were such a scaredy cat. Please, Lola, I am a scaredy owl. Back to our spooky story. On a night very much like this one, I was alone in Squishville Park, squishing my way home when... Ah! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> That's just a tree branch. What if I turn off the flashlight? Huh? <laughs> <sighs> okay, lights back on. Oh, where was I? Oh, right, squishing home when I saw a bunch of scary lights. <gasps> oh, fireflies, they're just fireflies. Flies made out of fire? This is getting out of hand. Relax, everyone. I brought a fire extinguisher. What? I like to be prepared. Please carry on, Kayla. <sighs> Fine. I was squishing home, moon shining bright. Then I hear... <gasps> <gasps> it's just the wind. Now... Can I please finish my spooky story? Sorry, Our as bad. you were, KK. <sighs> on a night very much like this one, I was alone in Squishville Park, squishing my way home, when all of a sudden I heard a growl, then a crunch by the tree. So I hopped up to investigate and discovered that my secret stash of s'mores had been eaten. 
every last piece. I never found out who or what ate my s'mores, but some nights when I walk through the park, I can still hear the growling and crunching of Cameron. Uh, oh, uh, there might be one more left if anybody's hungry.